Hey everybody, today I'm going to be sharing my top three tips for clearing empathic energy out of your way and getting into your own self-confidence to know that you are a powerful enough spiritual leader that you don't even need to do those things. More of this coming right up. Hey everybody, I'm Adelina East, founder of Transformational Healing, former neuroscience researcher and therapist and humanitarian aid worker. In my years and years of moving around the globe and working with people in intense situations of trauma, I learned so much about empathic protection and about what we can do in order to feel better within ourselves, to be able to stop picking up everybody's trauma and pain. If you missed the first video, I do recommend that you go back and watch it. It was released just a week before, so it should be just above this one. In that video, I detail why we have such empathic abilities, why light leaders like yourself and beautiful, intelligent human beings are feeling as though they're picking up everyone's everything all the time, whether it's spoken out loud by another person or whether you're just feeling it while you're out and about. It is my greatest wish and my highest intention today for us to be able to learn how to clear all of that out. So in our last video, we talked about the neuroscience backing for all of this empathic energy. And so the first thing that I can recommend is to get yourself into a daily practice where you are healing yourself. This can be literally anything. I'm going to give you a few examples of the clients that I've worked with both now and in the past of their ways of doing this. So of course my favorite way is first transformational healing, the healing modality that I founded. And if you've never experienced it before, you're always welcome to go through older videos that I have here on my YouTube channel. I also have uh, an older podcast that I'm not recording anymore, but it was called Light Beings and Way Showers. You can find that through any of the podcast apps, and that will take you through a few different mini transformational healings. For a full one, you can check me out and book a session with me. But basically, what happens when you get into that healing mode is that your nervous system calms way down. So even if you're doing meditation every day, maybe you're doing a yogic practice, maybe you even feel that healing energy when you're out on walks, like just going for a walk in your neighborhood, this will help to bring your nervous system down. Like we learned in video one, when your nervous system is dysregulated, when you're in that fight, flight, freeze or fawn phase, when you're feeling all of that trauma happening, it literally is attracting all of this empathic energy from other people that is on the same plane as that. So you could just simply be out at the store and you're so amped up, your nervous system is so dysregulated that other people begin to open up to you and tell you their deepest, darkest problems. As we talked about in the last video, that used to happen to me all the time. It's really overwhelming, but once you do a lot of nervous system healing, it happens less and less because your brain is no longer making those synaptic connections when you hear other people's stories. It's so helpful. So tip number one, do some healing work on yourself. You have a few free ways that I've just listed. You also have other uh, more structured and decided upon ways that will help keep you accountable. The reason why I personally started working with a mentor and why I personally started working with a, a coach is because I found that I was not making enough time to do this healing work for myself every day. So I kid you not, at the beginning of my journey when I was trying to clear out all of this empathetic clutter, I worked with my mentor almost every day because if I didn't do it, I wouldn't do it on my own. And I knew that about myself. I knew that I was not going to set my alarm for 6 a.m., get up an extra half an hour early before work and just do this healing work. If you're disciplined enough to do that, bravo. If you're not, I'm here to help. We have three month, three month or six month coaching packages available too. So if you just wanna do the healing work, you don't wanna do the whole mentorship thing, that's okay as well. And we'll set those times and we'll make sure that you get that in. 
every day. It's so important and it helped me so much. I would say that actually the consistency of doing healing work on myself every day helped me more than anything else. The second thing is I can teach you some tools and some really beautiful practices here that will help you to protect your energy. The thing is, I don't believe that we need to protect our energy anymore. I believed this for so long, for much of my life actually. But what I've learned recently, and this is a process for everyone, it doesn't mean that you're here already or that you're meant to be here already. But what I've learned recently is that because I am a particle of God, because I'm a particle of source, we all are, every single person watching this video is, we actually hold the power within us to be able to deflect those empathic bids for our energy. We can call them empathic bids. So someone you know or someone you don't know comes up to you, starts telling you their whole thing, you're feeling all of their stuff, it's like, oh, please stop. We can deflect that. We have the power and the ability to do so. Even if it's happening psychically, if you're just in a store or out somewhere and you're feeling someone's pain, we have the ability to just deflect that as ourselves. But until we get to the point of confidence that we feel like we can do that, these other tips are so, so helpful. So let's get into those tips. I used them for years. So we have the one from our last video, right? Where we close our eyes and we imagine four feet around us in every direction, our auric field as some would call it, and we fill that whole auric field with gold and we even extend that gold color out beyond our auric field. Gold is the color of protection. And it is a color that my spirit guides work with all the time when someone's feeling just so um, out of their body and out of sync with themselves, they always bring gold into it to get that person back to that neutral state. So you can always do that. The second way that I'm going to teach you today was taught to me by my beautiful Native American grandmother, and I use those words because those were the words she used. She was, um, we believe, partially Navajo, partially Cherokee, and so this was her way of protecting your energy. So we're going to bow to all four directions, and I'm sitting here in front of you so I won't turn all the way around, but first bow in front of you, bow to your right, Bow behind you, bow to your left. Imagine you're bowing to the north, south, east, and west. And then keeping your hands here, you're just going to say all four directions. Protect me now. Protect me from empathic interference. Protect me from whatever is around me or circling me that aims to bring me to a lower level right now. And then just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. If you are, you can open your eyes. If you're standing in a crowded line in a grocery store, I can tell you that you certainly don't have to bow and put your hands in prayer pose. I've found that you can totally imagine yourself doing that, like kind of float above yourself and imagine yourself bowing to the north, south, east, and west. Imagine your hands in prayer position and just say to yourself and to your guides what I just said. That also works. This is also backed by neuroscience. There was a yogi many, many centuries ago who actually told us about this before neuroscience had caught up. Um, but when you imagine yourself doing something, this is 80% as effective as actually doing the thing. So you're imagining yourself doing this, you're getting 80% of the benefits. So that's pretty great too. The other thing that I want to teach is about how we can protect ourselves empathetically just by calling on that protection. So this was something that I learned later on in my spiritual awakening. And so you can practice this today. If you don't feel quite ready to practice this, that's okay. Start with the northwest, east, south thing and start with asking for protection. Next on the list would be to close your eyes again and you can imagine yourself 
hovering up above yourself. I like to call this going to the place of our higher selves. And so just imagine yourself hovering above you and say, I am stronger than these energies around me. My higher self knows that I'm stronger than these energies that I'm picking up and it is deflecting them at every moment. And just see that happening around you. I like to imagine like little kickboxing feet kind of kicking these empathic energies away from me, kicking away other people's stuff away from me so that I can just stay sovereign in my own self. So open your eyes, you can try that as well. And then the third tip I wanna teach you today is based upon, loosely based upon theta healing, which I've always found to be helpful. I don't find it to be permanent. And so that's why I stopped using it so much. I find it to be helpful for little bursts here and there, but sometimes you need a little burst here and there. So what I do is I, again, close my eyes. And again, if you're out and about, you can do this with your eyes open. You can just say these words to yourself. And I say, source, it is commanded that you pull, cancel, bring up to your light any fallen or wayward spirits around me. And then you just watch those spirits float up away from you. And then this part is not theta healing, but something I like to do. And I just say, source, it is commanded that you fill me with your Holy Spirit now. Fill me with white light right now. And then I imagine myself going fully into Holy Spirit, into white light. And then I imagine that white light extending far beyond me, like out through my aura, but even farther beyond my aura. And that can also be super helpful and you can open your eyes. So you can try all of those things this week. But here's really my main tip. So do these other practices for a while and get accustomed to them. And I know that for many years, I did these practices all the time. It was literally the only way I could get through the day. And that's okay. We're all on our own journey. We're all moving through it all the time, right? But as you continue to spiritually evolve and spiritually mature, you will get to a point where you will know that you are a particle of God and that when you feel that ick energy around you, you can literally just pass through it. One thing that I still do even today is that if I'm in a group, I actually just did this yesterday, if I'm in a group of people and they're all really going through it and I can feel all of their stuff, I just quietly go in a corner and, and put my hand to my chest and say, this is not mine. I offer that up to the light. This is not mine. This is not mine. And that's just reassuring yourself that those challenging emotions, those challenging traumas are not yours. They are somebody else's. It's not for you to work through it. It's for them to work through it. And you're just offering that back up to the light. And then I just go back to my seat rejoin the group, knowing that I am a part of source. You are all parts of source. And just by merely being there, you are cutting through that energy. You are clearing it out. You're blending it with your own energy to bring it closer and closer up to the light and up to source for healing. Again, it's not your responsibility to heal everybody else. It's your responsibility to heal you to work with source and your guides to heal yourself. And as you're on that journey, of course you will come across souls who also come to you for healing. And I leave it up to you whether you feel prepared for that. If you want to become more prepared for that, if that's something that you see in your future as a possible career or even just something that you want to do with family and friends, I recommend that you sign up to apply to my mentorship I love my mentorship program. It is the most fun I've ever had. I love working with all of you beautiful light beings to help you tap into your own spiritual gifts and to know that all of this is coming to you for a reason. There's always a reason that you've been given a gift. 
And so we'll drop that link below here. We'll also drop the link for my Get Guided Mastermind, which is starting so soon. If you are a light worker in business, or if you have a corporate job and you're looking into other options, you can always join us in my Get Guided Mastermind program. We meet once a week for four weeks and we talk it all out and give each other tips and practical as well as spiritual solutions for anything that's going on with you. I look forward to seeing you soon.